All right, B. Slade, live back in the studio here at the Muay Thai Metal Show. And as promised at the top of our number one, we do have yet another interview for you in our number two. We're talking about Carl Rather. He is the bass player for the band Crashing Wayward. Carl, welcome to the show. How are you, sir? Good, good. How's it going out there in Baltimore, guys? It's going great. Where are you calling us from? You in Vegas right now? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm at home in Las Vegas, uh, getting a little coffee in me and uh, mapping out mapping out the next next couple of weeks of my life here. <laughs> Sounds real good. So you so you you reside in Vegas now, huh? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I grew up in the DC area. Uh, Hence the seven zero three phone number. I got gotcha. you. We've, we've got here. Um, moved to LA in two thousand five. I was there for seventeen years, um, and then moved to Las Vegas uh, June of twenty twenty two. Nice. You could probably walk the planet forty two. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. All right, Carl. Let's talk everything. Crashing wayward. How did it all start? Take us. Let's go on the way back machine for a minute. Just. Tell us and, and about the 800,000 Muay Thai metal fans that we have, you know, how you guys got started. I'll let you talk. All right. Um, so the, 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 the band itself, um, I guess, was born during COVID. Um, mm. I had started coming out here uh, in late 2019 to work with uh, Stacy um, and David, the guitar players, and uh, Pete, our singer, and a different drummer, and we had a, a different band, and then just kind of realized we need to, during COVID, we started writing all this new stuff, and um, realized, like, this is a very different sound. Um, <clears throat> this is a, a much, you know, the, the songwriting, the stuff we were coming up with, even though I was in Los Angeles, and Pete was in Ohio, or Pete was in San Diego, David was in Ohio, and Stacy was here in Vegas, like, the songwriting just took this huge leap forward. Um, from what this band we had been called had. So we realized like, well, we need to, we need to let that name go. And um, then uh, the drummer for that band bowed out. Um, he just, COVID kind of changed him. Um, unfortunately, he didn't get COVID as far as I know, but he just, he wasn't the same person. I got after that. And um, so we got Sean, our drummer, and came up with the name Crushing Wayward, and here we are, you know, kind of, uh, I guess, kind of a, you know, a positive thing coming from such a ugly time frame, you know? Right, right. When you when you refer to the old band, and if you don't mind me saying, was that the Electric Radio Kings? Was the name yes, at one point? Yes, it was. Okay. That was Electric Radio Kings. Yeah. So I was I was I was driving out to Vegas to work with Electric Radio Kings. Uh, all throughout like the fall of uh, 2019, and um, we did two shows right before COVID. We did one uh, here in Vegas, Vamped, in January of 2020, and then we did one at the Viper Room in uh, early February of 2020. And then three weeks later, it was you know just the world got unplugged. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It, it was absolutely nuts at that time, and well, it was nuts for all of us. But I'm sure as you guys are. You know, trying to pull it all together. Hey, where you know where are we going to play? Let's book some shows. Boom, the oh, world shuts down. Dude, we had shows on the books. I man. bet you like, did. We, we we had stuff booked for like Arizona in April of 2020, and you know it's like, oh, we're just going to shut down for two weeks. Oh, it'll be two months. Yeah. Sorry, guys, we don't know what's happening. You know, it's like you know the the the, the thing that was the the most difficult part about being a musician, being an entertainer, working. In, in the nightlife industry was, you know, we were the first ones to get shut down and we were the no doubt. absolute dead last to go back to work. Yeah, it was it was incredible. I mean, you know, I can I can empathize with, the you know, the two weeks thing because my daughter was actually in her freshman year at Washington College in Chestertown and she was going on spring break. And, and the first thing we heard was we're just we're just going to extend spring break for another week. We'll come back in two weeks. And literally at the end of that second week, it was kind of like. Come get your kid, get everything out of the dorm rooms. We don't know what's happening at this point. 
Oh man, I'm sure that was a crazy email to get. Oh Holy yeah, cow. yeah, it was nuts. But <laughs> yeah. anyway, let's let's get back to the rock and roll. So, Crashing yeah. Wayward is back, and you're rock and rolling. You've got a new song out. Well, you've got a lot of songs out actually, but um, I think it's about time to let the Muay Thai metal listeners at least hear some Crashing Wayward. I think we should set them up with Disco Kills first. What do you think? You want to talk about that song a little bit, and we'll jump into yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So Disco Kills was actually one of the first riffs that um, that kind of gave birth to this whole process of Crashing Wayward. Um, you know, we were like. I don't know, a month into lockdown <laughs> and uh, uh-huh. David sends these riffs and it was like, this is pretty fucking cool. Right. Like, you know, let's let, you know, we started kind of, you know, that, that, I think that was the birth. Um, and we, we, we started, you know, kicking that one around and then, um, you know, we convened in Vegas in, I want to say July of 2020 and, um, you know, started working with uh, with Mike Gillies, our producer, and he had some ideas about like, you know, how to how to how to take something that was like really strong and and make it better, and and that's that's the version of Disco Kills that was ultimately you know recorded and put out, and uh, the version you guys have that is a single version. It's being remixed for the record, um, so when it comes out on the album at some point this year uh it's it's i think it's gonna be a little a little beefier Um, nice yeah sounds good well let's do it let's do it sitting down with carl rather founding member and bass player of the band crashing wayward this one is called disco kills you're only gonna hear it on the muay thai metal show at 97 underground.com baltimore's pure rock worldwide (laughs)
97underground.com, the station your mother warned you about, and a jam called Disco Kills, the band Crashing Wayward. Why are you hearing Crashing Wayward? Because we're sitting down with a founder and the bass player of Crashing Wayward, Mr. Carl Rather. Carl, we're Yo. back on the air, man. All right. Hey, Disco Kills, let's talk a little bit about the title. As a 57-year-old guy, that takes me back to 1979 and the whole crazy thing at White Sox Stadium and all that. Disco kind of came in and kind of like took out whatever the late 70s groovy thing was. Am I way off on that or where did that title come from? Um, you know, I honestly, that, that's a Pete question. Um, Pete came up with all the, all the lyrics for that. Um, so I believe it's an, it's an allegory. Um, I would, I would probably have to look at the lyrics. No, nah, that's glean, cool. Glean some kind of information from it. Um, I, I, I think it's it. I don't want to speak for Pete. <laughs> right. I'm with you, man. No, I just, I was thinking about like, you know, the whole disco thing got huge and then it was like disco was gone but when it came up it was kind of how like grunge had killed glam you know right at the end of eight uh, the 80s and in the 90 at the end of the 70s and in the 80 all of a sudden disco had kind of taken over from you know all the groovy 70 you know rock and roll it was kind of weird yeah yeah i mean and then you know you had, you had bands you know like a band like blondie that started off in the punk scene that right you know, suddenly had you know like several massive disco hits yeah. Um, you know, I don't think they necessarily hopped on disco because it was the trendy thing to do. It's just they just kind of heard it and liked it, you know? Yeah, no doubt like, about it. Let's try this and see what happens. Oh, we just had a hit. Yeah, okay. right. Hey, we're good. <laughs> and you know what? They were great songs. <laughs> they were. Some of them were really good. Well, let's jump back to Crashing Westward. What is going on right now? Wayward. Let's talk. Let, oh, man, I did it again. <laughs> That's all right. We'll keep rolling. I said it again. It's It's been stuck in my head. I keep saying westward. I mean wayward. I, my, my sincerest apologies, Carl. Oh, that, good, no, man. Every, I'm going to take a sip of coffee every time you say that. <laughs> that. That sounds good. Hey, seriously, though, crashing wayward, what is happening right now and moving forward? Shows coming up, plans yeah. for the band, you know, the album. I'll let you talk. Yeah, so um, right now we got uh, we got four gigs on the books. Um, I'm going to go to the calendar and make sure I give you 100% correct dates here. Cool, man. Um, so yeah, we, uh, we're starting off the year, um, January 28th up at, uh, Leatherheads in, uh, Draper, Utah, which is, uh, cool. just outside of Salt Lake city. Um, then we play a hometown gig here in Vegas at vamped on March 11. Um, March 18, we are doing keel fest two in Nashville, Nice. And uh, we we got a we got a gig at um oh what's it called like the like the the Bullhead Run or it's, it's a, like a big motorcycle rally thing down in uh, Bullhead City Arizona okay um, and that's a two day event April twenty eighth and twenty nine uh, we are opening uh, the show on the 29th. Um, so that Saturday night down there in uh, Bullhead City Arizona. Um, we got a, we got a few other things looming, but, um, until there's like actual offers that, that come in and we, you know, have some contracts, I'm, I'm just not going to say anything. I got you. Yeah, you can't, I, I understand you guys are going to be busy guys as 23, 2023 ramps up, but, um, I understand you don't want to kind of throw it out there until it's, you know, it's set in stone. You know what I mean? Totally. But uh, let's talk about Stranger Days. Talk to me about, you know, we're going to play this song here in a couple of minutes for the Muay Thai Metal listeners. Talk to me a little bit about how this song came about. Um, so that song, uh, I think Stacy came up with uh, the bulk of the music for that one. And I, I think some of the some of the genesis for some of the, the lyric writing for that, for Pete and... If, if I'm wrong, Pete, I apologize. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it kind of came a from you know kind of the the not knowing when when we were gonna get out of COVID. Oh, you know? okay, all uh, right. And and also you know the I, I think some of the lyrics also you know we had uh, we had all the all the the, the unrest you know from. Um, 
you know, that, that poor man that was killed by the police right. you know, yeah. in, oh, uh, yeah. in Minnesota in 2020 and all the, all the demonstrations and, and rioting that occurred, you know, across the country, you know, in, no doubt. in the aftermath of that. So I, I think Pete kind of was pulling from, from those two places, um, a little bit for, you know, for, for where, where the uh, lyrics came on that. Yeah, no doubt. And, and let's face it. They were stranger days for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, it, it was, it was, uh, you know, it was, it was something to, to kind of watch and be and behold. I mean, you know, especially like, you know, me, me, you know, me, me trapped in Los Angeles, you know, yeah. with, with my now wife and we had a roommate at the time and, and, you know, just, just seeing everything happening on the TV and like every channel's covering it. You can't escape it. No. You know, you, you turn off the TV and you're getting, you know, the notifications on your phone or your computer about, you know, this, that, or the other. It's just yeah. like, man. Like, <laughs> right. It's definitely an interesting time for sure. We are sitting down with Carl Rather. He is the bass player from the band Crashing Wayward. I think it's time to roll, Stranger Days. What do you say, Carl? Let's do it. Right now on the Muay Thai Metal Show at the station your mother warned you about. 97underground.com, Baltimore's Pure Rock Worldwide. The song Stranger Days, the band Crashing Wayward. Stranger Days released as a single on April 1st of 2022. Why are you hearing that here on the Muay Thai Metal Show? 
because we're sitting down with founder and bass player, Mr. Carl Rather. Carl, we are back on the air. All right. All right, Stranger Days. So that's going to be put on the new album, correct? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, we're gonna. It's gonna get remixed. Um, I think we're gonna, um, you know, tweak a few things on the mix. Try to try to let it spread out a little bit more. Get a little more girth out of some of the distorted guitars. Um, just just make it a little bit better, so it just you know sits nicely within the overall arc of the record. No, that's very cool. So, you know, talk to me. Tell me a little bit about the, you know, the album. I, it, you know, I know you're currently mixing it now. You know, I'll let you talk. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, we started tracking the record um, on and off over the course of, like, kind of, like, later 2020. And then I think we really hit the bricks hard uh, summer of 2021. And then... Um, we got into the mix phase uh, kind of late last year. And so our producer, Mike Gillies, um, he's, he's been working away on it. And, you know, the, the mixes are sounding real good. Um, just Mike is, is incredibly meticulous and detail-oriented. Um, so, you know, the, the, the mixes, they're, they're getting, they're good. <laughs> That's good, man. Very good. Any I any yeah. I and I know this is this may be a little premature, but let me ask. Any idea on when the new album may be available to the listeners? Um No, not at this time. That's um, cool. I mean we we were we were we were trying to see if we could do like a first quarter twenty twenty three release, but um you know, there's a lot of like, you know, a lot of stuff that you have to time out and oh, everything yeah. like that for it. So absolutely, I mean, you know, f- fingers crossed for second quarter. Uh, um, well, that's cool. I mean, that, and that gives you, a, you know, gives us a little bit of a baseline. I mean, definitely in 2023 for sure. You know, hopefully by I would say July. You know, just to play it safe. I mean, that, that's that's that sounds good to me. You know, we just we just want it to be right. We want everything. You know, we want to be all of us want to be completely stoked on it. And not put out something where, you know, like, like anyone, you know, anyone within the creative process of the, you know, the making of this record is unhappy with the result. Mm -hmm. So, you know, better do it right, get it right, than you know, try to, try to rush it out, you know. No doubt about it. Take your time and put out a absolutely 100% quality product. I get it. Yeah. That's really cool. Sitting down with Carl Rather, founder and bass player from the band crashing wayward we are running out of time carl we do want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to sit down with us but real quick where can our listeners find you website social media presence talk to me uh yeah so the website is crashingwayward.com cool Uh, and yeah it's just it's crashing wayward on on all the socials uh instagram twitter facebook uh, TikTok. Um, okay. <laughs> you know, that's cool, man. Yeah, and then you know we're on you know we're on all the all the digital platforms uh, you know for streaming and purchase. So you can find um, you can find Breathe in you know Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, uh, Tidal, Deezer, you know, and on and on the list goes of, of streaming platforms around the, the globe. Um, and Disco Kills currently is there as well. Stranger Days right now is only on Bandcamp. Um, That's cool. But everything, everything will be, you know, everything will be remixed and, and remastered and, and uh, come out on the new record when we, uh, when we put it out. Sounds real good. Well, you talked about Breathe. We are, well, I, when I say we, 97underground.com, the radio station itself, has Breathe in its rotation right now. That's how we obviously got connected with you. So um, I say it's time to let the Muay Thai metal listeners, you know, not that they don't listen to 97 Underground when we're not on the air, but uh, if they haven't heard Breathe yet, what do you say? You want to roll Breathe? Yeah, yeah. Hey, can I just give you guys a thank you for, for giving Breathe as much love as you guys have? I mean, it, we I know we're, what, number, number four on your chart, I no, think? That's correct, number four, and I'm sure it's going to jump up this week. Let's hope, fingers crossed. You know, I, I mean, we all, we're all very appreciative, but, you know, thank you. Thank no, you guys and, and for 
not a problem. You're very welcome, and thank you for taking out the time to spend with us today. We will keep rolling it. We'll keep seeing it go up the charts, and hopefully one day you make it out to the East Coast and we get to meet you face-to-face face face and see a crashing wayward show live in person. That'd be really cool. Man, that would be rad. Um, I mean, I, I mean, growing up in the growing up in the that area, the you know D.C. Baltimore area, I haven't played a hometown show since like 2009. So wow, <laughs> yeah, man, come on back, brother. It ain't changed that much. <laughs> I think the highways got a little bigger and busier. <laughs> yeah, they did definitely. Carl, thank you so much. Sitting down with Carl Rather, bassist, founder of the band Crashing Wayward. This one on the forthcoming album, which we will see at some point in 2023. It's called Breathe at 97underground.com. Baltimore's Pure Rock Worldwide. 